Okay, speaking of code, our last talk this morning from the species file group is uh, from, from Jeff Orr. He's gonna talk about sort of our strategy for creating code that's shareable and usable not only by TaxonWorks, but others. So Jeff, if you wanna take it away. Hello, everyone again. So I've also been um, working on wrapping APIs in Ruby, which helps make them easier to integrate external biodiversity informatics services into other platforms. Although also like the API wrappers can also just be useful in general because of basically they all come with a council playground where you can kind of interactively uh, work with the API and learn how it works. So basically, the gems that I've been developing are inspired by uh, the Serrano gem, which is developed by Scott Chamberlain. And that gem in particular wraps the Crossref API. So basically when you're using Crossref and TaxonWorks, it's using the Serrano gem to access references in Crossref. And basically the architecture of the Serrano gem gives you the standalone API wrapper, which can allow you to integrate it into other Ruby-based projects like TaxonWorks. Then you have the console playground, which is an uh, interactive command that you can run in the bin folder once you clone the repository. And then it also comes with documentation with usage examples, and then unit tests to make sure that all of the API wrapping is working correctly and also that the API is working correctly. And then it also comes with a nice fruit or vegetable-based name for the gym, which we've continued to do with the new biodiversity informatics gyms. So, so far I've um, wrapped my own Nomia is Banana Nomia, and then the Biodiversity Enhanced Location Services, Bells as Bell Pepper, and then Catalog of Life in Checklist Bank is Colorapi, <clears throat> and then iNaturalist as Nasturtium, <clears throat> and also realized recently that we don't have a API wrapper for taxon works yet, but we should definitely create one. So maybe keep an eye out for that in the species file group um, organization repositories. So I've also been working on developing some new taxon works features based on the Colrapi gem, and one of them is import from Checklist Bank. This I don't think is in the development branch yet, but um, hopefully will be soon. So if you use the import from checklist bank task, um, it will look something like this, where basically you can pick the parent that you want to attach um, nomenclature and classification um, to from checklist bank. Then you'd select the data set ID and then the taxon ID that you want to import and whether you want to import it recursively. Then you have to select the nomenclatural code or you can prefer checklist bank's nomenclatural code if provided and then decide whether you want to automatically generate OTUs. And then if you run that, it would basically import, um, of course, the Kohlrabi for the Kohlrabi group. Also, I'm working on adding to the Catalog of Life um, data package exporter feature that pulls in the metadata from Checklist Bank and lets you edit your metadata in TaxonWorks, and then it would basically bundle the metadata with the file so that you can update the metadata from TaxonWorks. Right now we do allow, right now we do update a few fields with the basic um, exporter, mainly the title, the release date, and the version, but this will let you edit all the metadata in TaxonWorks. So if you want to experiment with these um, gems, you can find them in the species file group organization. Um, I'll stick these in chat. I'm also developing some Python-based wrappers for Bionomia and Checklist Bank as well. And I'll also stick those in species file group once they're ready. With that, I can take any questions. Thank you. Thanks, Jeff. Uh, I'll point out that Jeff's, a uh, big part of Jeff's role is being responsible for the pipeline that feeds the catalog of life. So at the species file group level, we're really grateful to have his expertise and knowledge of the system and Yuri's knowledge of the system so that we can ensure that Taxon Works, for example, provides a really quality export um, to Catalog of Life. It's important to play those synergies off and they're really uh, nicely complementary, right? Uh, your data in and your hard work in Taxon Works 
means the catalog of life and and or or the rest of the community can benefit at a global level thanks to this shared expertise.